Come November of this year, we will be electing or re-electing a president of the United States. Uh, it will either be Barack Obama or uh, Mitt Romney. Of course, we as Christians are kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. We have a president who says he's a Christian right now, but uh, his actions completely uh, decry that um, claim. And on the other side of the coin, we have Mitt Romney, who is a member of a cult, who express, expresses godly principles, but uh, the bottom line is they're leading, they're leading people away from uh, the truth, which is Christ. So this is basically a uh, moment in which we have to take the good with, with the bad as well. Certainly as Christians we would rather have someone who is a dedicated born again believer who expresses godly principles. But that just simply is not the case in this election. So as a Christian I will be voting for the man who, clo uh, who is the closest to what I believe uh, uh, as, as a whole. Of course, I don't adhere to any of the beliefs of the Latter-day Saints or the Mormons. But Mitt Romney does at least uh, hold to many of the things that I believe is God-honoring, such as uh, pro-life and the rejection of gay marriage as a family unit. But getting back to the story that I was talking about a couple weeks ago that I ran on my website... Uh, and basically, it's, 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 this is the story right here. It says, University of Colorado uh, prediction model points to Big Romney win. Basically, what it is is that a uh, computer model created by two University of Colorado professors has predicted that uh, Mitt Romney will win the elections in November. Now, of course, I'm sure many of you are saying, well, you know what, we, we, we're, we always, this is just another poll. That's just their opinion. They, you know, they have their own data, whatever the case may be. But there is a little bit more to it than just that. It says the model, the only uh, one of its kind to use more than one state level economic indicator, has correctly predicted the winner of every presidential election since 1980. In fact, this model has been so uh, accurate, uh, it, it also predicted uh, correctly the outcome of the 2000 election when Al Gore won the popular vote but lost the electoral vote to George Bush. So basically in 1980 when George Bush won the election he lost the electoral vote. Uh, this model predicted that was going to happen. That's how accurate it's been. Now here's what the model has projected. This computer model has said that it predicts Romney winning the electoral college by a score of 200 or 320 uh, to 218 margin and winning a 52.9 percent of the popular vote when only the two major parties uh, candidates are considered the Associated Press reported Thursday. Now again this was a couple weeks ago so this story uh, uh, will reflect that uh, time period. Romney concluded will win every state currently considered by pollsters to be a swing state including Ohio, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Florida, Virginia, Colorado, New Hampshire, and North Carolina. The model even predicts Romney will win Minnesota and Maine's 2nd Congressional District, the electoral votes of which most uh, pollsters consider to be safe for President Obama. Nevada and Iowa are the only swing states it assigns to Obama. Now, One of the, uh, speak, one of the uh, professors speaking says, based on our forecasting model, it becomes clear that the president is in electoral trouble, explained Kenneth Bickers, a political science professor at the University of Colorado Boulder, who developed the prediction model with Michael Berry of University of Colorado Denver. The apparent advantage of being a Democratic uh, candidate and holding the White House disappears, Berry noted, when the national unemployment rate hits 5.6 percent. The incumbency advantage enjoyed by President Obama, though statistically significant, is not great enough to offset high rates of unemployment currently experienced in many of the states. Bickers said large issues like the economy and the country's overall direction tend to determine presidential elections. Computerized prediction models suggest that presidential elections are about big things and the uh, stewardship of the national economy, he said. It's not about gaffes or political commercials or day-to-day -day campaign tactics. I find that heartening uh, for our democracy. Now they do warn that, uh, uh, and, and they ask you to, to, to be cautious about this particular model because uh, even though 
uh, it is very accurate. This information was based upon the June 2012 economic data. They, they also said that they intend to update their calculations when the new data becomes available sometime in September. So sometimes this month they're going to update it and uh, see if that, we'll see if that's changed, if, if at all possible. They also said that in many swing states showed uh, close enough to a 50-50 split that factors other than the economy could tilt them in the opposite direction. Bicker and Barry also did not factor in third-party candidates such as the Libertarian presidential nominee Gary Johnson, who public policy polling, a Democratic-affiliated polling firm, has noted could significantly diminish Obama's chances of winning New Mexico. So there are definitely unknown factors at this point in time that could play a big part in swinging uh, the election one way or the other. But according to this model as of today, uh, before the September data has been uh, in, uh, inputted, this computer model has projected Mitt Romney to be a uh, significant winner by a score of 320 electoral votes to 218 electoral votes over Barack Obama. We will find out soon if this computer uh, model's uh, winning streak of consecutive years will continue in uh, less than 60 days. This is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.